Don't try when you're not in the vortex. If you're not in the vortex, you have only one thing to do. Get in the vortex. Well, how do you get in the vortex if you're not in the vortex? Well, stop doing whatever you're doing that's keeping you out of the vortex. What's up, guys? Namo Himalaya. Stefan Peel from Shared Reality here to help you make the most of the moment. And today we're gonna to do that by once again visiting the 22 flawed premises of Abraham as shared with us by Esther Hicks. As usual, if you have not seen the first three parts in the series, I highly recommend going watching one through 14 first because today we're gonna to be jumping straight into number 14. Now this flawed premise states that there is a God who having considered all things has come to a final and correct conclusion about everything. So this is a very one dimensional view of the divine. It's the idea that there is some absolute judge sitting up there in the sky that is, you know, categorizing all of your decisions, all of your actions as either good or bad, and sticking some punishments or some judgment on you for it. But in truth, the divine is outside of our conceptual understanding, and it's actually not too concerned about what we do because it's accounted for all outcomes and the universe continually readjusts given those outcomes. See, we're actually helping the expansion of the divine because the divine being all things, being part and, we're part and parcel of the divine. So the divine being all things inside of us, all things inside of everyone, it's obviously every single place concurrently at every single time in every single time that's ever happened and will happen in permeating everything that exists in the universe. <laughs> like, it's very trippy to understand. But in the fact that we know the universe is ever expanding, why is it expanding? Well, Abraham tells us it's expanding because as we as individual creators meet these adverse situations and get those rocket desires launched that tell us what we don't want, and we all inspire each other to create the lives that we do want through our interactions with one another, that expansion is not only expanding our higher selves, but it's expanding the universe and source and God, whatever you want to call it, as a whole. Because God being all things, as we expand, God too expands. And this is what creates the perpetual goings on of the universe. So you don't need to worry about acting some right way in accordance with what God wants. You know, it's so far beyond our ability to conceive of just the divine's magnitude and its greatness. Flawed premise number 15 says you cannot know while you're still in your physical body the true reward or punishment for your physical actions. I know obviously there is karma and dharma that may last over lifetimes so you may not know the true consequences of your actions um, but it's not something we have to wait oh until death to see what kind of life we're living. Why? Because we're given this amazing, amazing individual personalized guidance system. So when you listen to your intuition, that is your connection to source energy, that is your connection to your higher self. And when you trust in that and listen to that, you'll know if something's aligned with you or not, just from checking in with yourself. So that is what, how you know the true reward or punishment for your actions. Aligned action, is always gonna bring you closer to reward. The punishment, I, I mean, it's Abraham's word, so I don't wanna critique it, but even that kind of sounds, sounds kind of harsh. Some things aren't punishments, they're just consequences, and some things just happen because they're challenges that need you to grow. And so this kind of ties back into number 14 as well, where you're not waiting for some ultimate judgment from God at the end of your physical beingness. You know, your true indication of if you're living an aligned life or not, if you're living a correct, a right life or not, is if you feel aligned and grounded and in your element, in your flow, in your vortex. You don't have to wait till death to know that. Number 16 says, by gathering data about the manifestation or results of the way people on earth have lived and are living, we can effectively sort them into absolute piles of right and wrong. Now again, there is no right and wrong. This is something we've been speaking a lot on uh, with my community lately about just being the witness. Things are not right or wrong, they're not good or bad, it just is. And I think as humans, we oftentimes get caught up in the should be, well, it's wrong this way and it should be this way. But that's not actually ever true because if it should be that way, it would be that way, the divine would make it so. You know, all these experiences are happening for a reason and all of our creations and all of our manifestations are all intertwined into this great big co-creation 
that we could not understand unless we had this outside objective bird's eye view and as well as like an inner understanding of every individual situation and that's that's a perspective that's limited to the divine because we have not elevated to be able to <laughs> be in all those locations at once and experience everything at once and even conceptualize you know we're still thinking linear time and so while it is good to look at how other people are achieved things that you wanted out of life and how they have gotten their manifestations to see if you can you know garner some wisdom from that we really only want to compare ourselves for inspiration you only look to your left and right to be inspired you never want to uh compare yourself for any other reason especially not to cast judgments on what's right or wrong about your behavior or others behaviors because again we don't want to exercise control over anyone else's creation their behavior is in your business you're the only one who controls what affects you uh, and in choosing to look for what's right for yourself to do you just need to look for what's aligned and you'll know that by trusting in your feelings checking in with your feelings and really not being afraid to listen to that guidance system and abraham makes it really simple it's if it feels good then it is an aligned thought if it feels bad then it is outside your vortex it really really is that simple and um jerry hicks her husband and also partner a spiritual speaker um, helps her write some of these books ask abraham he's like well what if someone is gay and they're like feeling happy and aligned when they think of their crush but then they think of like other people seeing them with their crush and then they start to feel really bad so what is the aligned thing and abraham is like well obviously <laughs> the aligned thing is the original thought and how that felt the outside influence on it those opinions on it um, are what are giving you the negative emotions them not being those people's opinions not being aligned with how you see yourself and how your source has expanded so don't judge yourself again get rid of this dualistic thinking it isn't right or wrong it just is just be a witness to it and flow with the energies i'm gonna keep it short today i'm only doing four in this video um, these all seem kind of, kind of have a religious tint to it um, number 17 says only very special people like the founder of our group can receive the right message from god so as i said these ones kind of have a more religious tinge to them that's why i grouped them all together but it's just so important to keep an open mind especially when you're trying to work with the law of attraction especially when you are trying to manifest things into your life because you never know how they're going to show up and you never know what opportunities the universe is going to place in front of you so you have to keep an open mind you can't shut anything out and when you think that it's my way is the only right way then it sets you up for failure in quite a few ways because one, your mind is closed off to any other outside opinions, and those are the opinions that are gonna cause your expansion and cause your growth. You then also prime your brain to be judgmental of others. Because if you're thinking, oh, my group and my thoughts and our beliefs is superior to all else's, then you're approaching every interaction, every connection with this air of superiority and with this idea that you're better than and that you don't have things to learn when every single person we interact with every single thing we interact with is meant to teach us something or else the universe would not have brought it into our consciousness like there is something to be learned from each person and everyone is part and parcel of the divine everyone has as much value in this universe and as much reason to be here as the next person whether you are living out on the street or high power ceo you know all the same in god's eyes and certainly should be all the same in us as seekers and as people learning to be our best selves and to grow so those are number 14 through 17. again they have more of a religious connotation and i think for us spiritual seekers a lot of people have already moved beyond organized religion to really have their own relationship with god and focus on spirituality so they might not be as relevant but it's still important to be um, cognizant of these flawed premises because I think certainly especially with number 17 um, it's not just religious leaders you know people get into this tribalism they get into this oh my political party is better than yours and uh, my sports team is better than yours and all these meaningless divisions uh, when we should really be approaching each other with a loving and open heart in all situations because that's what's going to benefit us 
best on earth, individually and collectively. So even though this was short and sweet, I hope you got something to you know, benefit out of this video. Uh, again, apologize for my inconsistency. Shit has been crazy around here um, and not in a fun way recently, but I have been persevering through. And because I so, so appreciate your continued support, I am going to be opening up my Calendly soon so you guys can set up a meeting with me if you wanna just say hello, talk, or if there's anything I can help you out with, I wanna thank you guys so much for continuing to support my channel. Um, so it'll be a free 30 minute meeting uh, you can see the times. I'll, I'll add a link to this soon and I'll make a community post about it as well. But if there's anything I can help you with growing your social media, helping you manifest, helping you manifest your ex back, helping you, you know, get into NFT, set up passive income streams, really whatever uh, you need help with. I've got my <laughs> irons in a lot of fires. Um, and I'm a very good researcher, so if there's something I don't know how to help you out with, I can promptly figure out how to. So don't be afraid to click the link and schedule a time. So thank you so much for sticking with me and watching through this part of the video. I very, very much appreciate you. If you got anything out of this video, please be sure to let me know in the comments. Hit that like button for me. If you're new to the channel, please consider hitting the subscribe. And if you do, be sure to hit that notifications button too because that'll give you a ding every time I upload new content and I promise it's gonna be more consistent uh, very, very soon. So make sure you are not missing out on that. I wanna make sure that you guys are fully potentiating and living the best out of every moment and really, really enjoying life. So if I can help you do that in any way, I'm a happy camper. Until next time, love you. Thank <laughs> you.